All right, let's take a look at this problem right here. So I'm going to start off by doing the counters and then I'm going to show you guys the number line as well. So we're going to do both the counters and the number line so that you can see, <coughs> excuse me, both representations on how to do these problems. So I'm going to start with negative two. Remember adding means to place more, right? To put more or put more, place more. Okay, so we're going to start with two negative counters, so two negative counters. And then we're going to place seven more counters. So uh, seven negative counters, right? Place seven negative counters more. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have negative nine counters. So my answer is going to be negative nine. So that's going to be equal to negative nine. Now I'm going to show you guys using a number line here. So I'm going to start from negative two right here. I start from negative two. I can, well, I can start from one, two or zero, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine and negative 10 and negative 11, so on and so forth. As you can see, I start with negative two. So this is where I start. So I start with negative two. I start with negative two. And adding negative counters, so if I added seven negative counters, this means that I'm actually becoming more negative. I'm See, there's more negative numbers now that I added negative seven counters. Before, I only had two negative counters, right? But as soon as I placed seven negative more counters, I became more negative, I became negative nine, which means that in order in which means that I have to go even more negative. How many units? Well, seven negative or seven units to the left. Um, becoming more negative means moving to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And where do I land that? And that land that negative nine, just as I landed at negative nine here. So remember when we place um, negative counters, when we place negative counters, I'm becoming more negative. So uh, when I place, when I add or place or place negative counters, negative counters, the number becomes, number becomes more negative more negative which means I move in the left direction in the left direction direction on the number line So I would pause the video and write this down somewhere because, um, or write this down in your left section where your main points are because that's a pretty important concept here. See, when I add or place negative counters, right? When I add or place more negative counters, the number becomes more negative. Before it was negative two, but if I added seven more counters, I became negative nine, I became more negative. Um, and becoming more negative which means that I move in the left direction on the lump, on the number line. So if I want to become more negative, I have to move to the left direction. Therefore, the answer is negative nine. So let's go ahead and try some other problems here. All right, um, so negative nine plus five. Well, let's take a look at this one. So I'm gonna start off with the counters. I'm gonna start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I have five plus counters. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So I just placed five more counters, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make zero pairs here. And what's remaining? It's remaining negative four, right? So that is what is remaining here. So my answer is negative four. Now let's do this in terms of the number line. So I'm going to start with five. And then or I'm going to start with negative nine. Start with negative nine. And I'm adding five, which means I'm becoming greater. This number is becoming greater, which means I have to move to the right. Okay, so I have 
eight seven six five four three two one zero so on so forth negative eight negative seven negative six negative five negative four negative three negative two negative one and zero so i start at negative nine so i start at negative nine i start at negative nine here and then i move to the right direction because i'm increasing right I'm adding five negative counters, and my answer is negative four, which means I have to move to the right direction, five units. So I have to go one, two, three, four, five, and where do I land at? I land at negative four. And so my answer is negative four, which right there is right there, and then I'm gonna do negative four, okay? All right, let's do one more question here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna skip this one. Um, and I'm going to try to find one that becomes, yeah, this one. So I have seven negative counters. So as you can see, I have seven negative counters here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I add, so this means adding or placing more counters. So I place one negative counter. So I place one negative counter, which means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight which means that I have eight negative counters, which is negative eight. So if I go on my number line, I'm gonna start at negative seven. I'm gonna start at negative seven, then negative six, negative five, um, and then negative eight, negative nine, and negative 10. So what that means is I start at negative seven. I start at negative seven, but I added a negative counter Right, I added a negative counter, which means that I became more negative. I became more negative. I went from seven, negative seven to negative eight, which means I became more negative. And how do you become more negative on the number line? You become more negative by going to the left. So my answer is going to be negative eight because I went one to the left. And where do I land at? Negative eight and negative eight right here. So I want you guys to see that the counters and the number line is pretty much representing the same concept.